Okay, today I'll be making a video on uh, the Apple IIc with a program called um, Apple Apple II an introduction. That's a program right here. It came with the Apple IIc along with other programs like Apple Works and uh, Apple Systems Utility came with these discs as well um, Apple II Systems Utility and uh, exploring Apple logo and getting down to basic Got one more, and um, the Apple at work. So I'll be showing you Apple introduction first. So let me boot that up. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time for it to load up because it's loading up with a fl uh, floppy disk drive. And the sound is coming from the internal speaker on the Apple, so I'm adjusting it down and I'm adjusting it back up again. Great, now you know that you can press the return key whenever you are finished reading something. You've got the idea. In general, remember this rule. When in doubt, press return. This lets the Apple know you're ready to proceed. Take another look at the keyboard. It looks like a typewriter keyboard with some extra keys, but it's much more versatile and ready to use. Yeah, this program just shows you how to use the computer. It's that's why it's called Apple Apple Introductions. Okay. Delete. Ah, delete is kind of like backspace. Okay. Delete and Okay, enter. Every child loves to play with a delete and L. Very good. As you can see, delete always deletes to the left, which makes it useful for erasing errors at the end of a word. Let's return to go on, okay.
Yeah, this is a, this was a pretty useful program for people who just. I mean, if it was their first time using a computer, since this was back in the 1980s, computers weren't really mainstream as they are now. So, so programs like this were made for early computers like the Apple IIc. Let's try another program. Let me turn this off. Also have other programs like um, Discware Mouse Paint. Let's see if I have another one. I think I have another one. Yeah. Okay. Here it is, and something called. Discware it says DOS 3.3 System Master. I think those discs were for my came with my Apple IIe. These two right here, they came up with my Apple IIe. Let's try something else. Let's try Apple at work. Let's try this one right here. Pretty good graphics for 1986. But the Apple II does lack something. The sound is very bad. The graphics okay for an 8 bit computer though. Let's try number one. Enter. Introduction or What's an application program anyways? Can't believe this disk still works. It's amazing. If you're like most people, your life doesn't run as smoothly as you'd like it to. Sure you could tidy things up, but there are so many better ways to spend your time. It just so happens that your Apple can help put your life in order by doing a lot of routine tasks most people hate doing. And it can do other tasks like budgeting and rearranging information that are so cumbersome most people never do them at all. This just illustrates how you can use a variety of computer programs to save you time and tandem. But before we make assumptions about your computer needs, we'd like you to complete the Ziegfeld Organization Assessment Profile. Press Return to begin the survey. If you completed the survey, press Open Apple Escape to return to the main menu. Open Apple Escape, okay. Is every document you type letter perfect on the first try? Almost never. This is uh, relating to people who use typewriters back in the day because we did have word processing typewriters back then but they weren't as good as word processors because a uh, typewriter word processor is line by line so if you made a mistake in a sentence and then you press enter 
it would just type all that up that type all that and go to the next sentence and you couldn't go and correct it that's what it's referring to do you ever misplace pieces of paper containing important information more often than not do you feel frustrated when you have to hunt through file folders to find a piece of information you need yes I view such activities as supreme waste of time as you bother by tandem of keeping track of budgets tax records and other numeric information by hand yes I put off doing these activities for as long as I can Without a computer, it's very difficult to do, right? You think it is important to examine a variety of solutions to a problem before making a decision? Yes, I try to look at several options before making a choice. Congratulations, your Sigfeld shows that you are among the overwhelming majority who could benefit from using a computer to help put your life in order and this was back in the 80s you know when like I said computers weren't commonplace like they are now I mean this basically shows you the roadmap of how things would become in the future and it has actually The rest of this disc introduces you to the kind of programs available at and the tasks they are they perform. Computers are particularly useful at working with three kinds of information: documents, letters, memos, proposals, manuscripts, term papers, lists, name and address lists, itineraries, inventories membership items information client lists numerical information budget tax records sales forecasts and as you might expect there's a special kind of computer program or software that works with each kind of information you may even know what these programs are called see if you can press See if you can guess. A computer program that lets you use your computer to type and edit documents is called a word processor. Of course, everyone should know that by now, right? Everyone who lives right now should know that. But back then, people didn't know that. People didn't know what a word processor is. A computer program that helps you keep track of a lot of related pieces of information or data is called a database program. And most people should know that now, you know. But back then, like I said, people didn't know that because computers, most people didn't have computers. They, they didn't even know how to use computers. That's it. Let's go for one more. A computer program that lets you manipulate numerical information arranged in rows and columns is called a spreadsheet. You're right. <laughs> now that you know the lingo, the next step is to see that these programs in action. Unfortunately, we cannot step into your home or office and help you decide what application programs are best for you but well, we can show you how Apple owners Harry and use a variety of applications to run their lives more smoothly okay Okay, this 
part is just an introduction to using Apple Works and basically what Apple Works is about. Uh, that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching.